Before you watch this, feel free to watch my video on how to solve radical equations. Let's start with an easy example like the square root of 3x equals x minus 6. The square root is already isolated, so the next step is to square both sides to get rid of the square root. Don't forget the parentheses here. The square root and the square cancel each other out. And on the right hand side we have the square of a binomial, which is x squared, 6 squared, which is 36, and the term in the middle is 2 times 6 times x, which is 12x. Don't forget the minus in front of 12x. And after subtracting 3x from both sides, we get 0 equals x squared minus 15x plus 36. Let's see if we can factor this. Which two numbers multiplied gives us 36? And the same numbers added gives us 15. To find these numbers, we have to factor 36. We can write 36 as 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 3 times 12 is 36, and 3 plus 12 is 15. So we have two solutions, 3 and 12. which we have to check by plugging them into the original equation because we have an even root index. The square root of 3 times 3 equals, which we have to check, 3 minus 6. 3 times 3 is 9 and the square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. 3 is not equal to negative 3, which means 3 is an extraneous solution. So it does not fit into the original equation. Let's plug in the second solution, which is 12. The square root of 3 times 12 equals 3 times 12 is 36 and the square root of 36 is 6. 12 minus 6 is 6. 6 equals 6 is true, so 12 is a solution for this problem. Let's look at the third root of 4x minus 5 equals 13. The first step is to isolate the radical by adding 5 to both sides. Which gives us the third root of 4x equals 18. And after cubing both sides we get, Let's see what 18 times 18 is. 8 times 8 is 64. Write the 4, carry the 6. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the carried 6 is 14. 1 times 8 is 8, and 1 times 1 is 1. 4, 12, 3, 
and 324 times 18. 8 times 4 is 32, write the 2, carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16, plus the carried 3 is 19. Write the 9, carry the 1. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the carried 1 is 25. One times four is four, one times two is two, and one times three is three. Two, thirteen, eight, five. So eighteen cubed is five thousand eight hundred thirty two. Let's divide by four. Five thousand eight hundred thirty two divided by four. Five divided by four is one. One times four is four. The difference is one. Bring down the eight. Eighteen divided by four is four. Four times four is sixteen. Eighteen minus sixteen is two. Bring down the three. 23 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. The difference is 3. Bring down the 2 and 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So we get 1458 as our solution. And we are done with this problem. We don't have to check our solution because the root has an odd index. Let's look at the next example, which is 3 times the square root of 4x minus 5 equals 13. Again, we isolate the square root by adding 5 to both sides. which gives us 3 times the square root of 4x equals 18. And after dividing by 3, we get the square root of 4x equals 6. We get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. Six squared is 36, and 36 divided by four is nine. Because we have an even index in this problem, we have to check our answer. Three times the square root of four times nine minus 5 equals 13. 4 times 9 is 36 and the square root of 36 is 6. Three times 6 is 18 and 18 minus 5 is 13. 13 equals 13 is true. So 9 is a solution for this problem. What about this example? 2x minus 3 times the square root of x equals 2. Subtracting 2x from both sides. Gives us negative 3 times the square root of x equals 2 minus 2x. And after dividing by negative 3, we get the square root of x equals 
2 over 3x minus 2 over 3. We get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. Two over three x squared is four over nine x squared. Two over three squared is four over nine. And two times two over three times two over three x is eight over nine x. Let's subtract x from both sides. We can write negative x as negative 9 over 9x. So we get 0 equals 4 over 9x squared minus 17 over 9x plus 4 over 9. And after multiplying the whole equation by 9, we get 0 equals 4x squared minus 17x plus 4. Let's use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. a is 4, b is negative 17, and c is 4. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. So we get 17 plus minus 17 squared minus 4 times 4 is negative 16 times 4 is negative 64. And 2 times 4 is 8. Seventeen squared is 289. Two hundred eighty nine minus sixty four is five two two hundred twenty five, and the square root of two hundred twenty five is fifteen. So our first solution is seventeen plus fifteen is thirty two, thirty two divided by eight is four, and our second solution is. 17 minus 15 is 2, and 2 over 8 is 1 over 4. Because the index of the root is even, we have to check our solutions. Let's plug in first the 4. 2 times 4. Minus 3 times the square root of 4 equals 2. 2 times 4 is 8. The square root of 4 is 2. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. And 2 equals 2 is true. So our first solution is 4. Let's plug in 1 over 4 in our original equation. 2 times 1 over 4 minus 3 times the square root of 1 over 4 equals 2. 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 over 2. Minus 
the square root of 1 over 4 is 1 over 2. 3 times 1 over 2 is 3 over 2. So we get 1 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Negative 1 is not equal to 2. So 1 over 4 is an extraneous solution. So the only solution which fits in our original equation is 4. Let's look at the next example, which is the square root of x plus 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let's add 2 to both sides to isolate the square root. and then square on both sides to get rid of the square root. Five squared is 25. Remove the five on the left-hand side. Twenty-five minus five is 20. It's necessary to check our solution because we have an even index. So let's plug in the 20 for x. The square root of 20 plus 5 minus 2 equals 3. 20 plus 5 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 equals 3 is true. So the solution 20 fits in our original equation. Let's look at the square root of x plus 3 minus 1 equals x. Adding 1 on both sides gives us the square root of x plus 3 equals x plus 1. And after squaring both sides, the square root cancels out. And on the right hand side we get the square root of x the square root of 1 and 2 times x times 1 which is 2x. Let's subtract the x and the 3 to get a 0 on the left hand side. So x minus x is x and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Let's see if we can factor this. Which two numbers multiplied gives us negative 2 and the same numbers added gives us negative 1. Feel free to pause the video and find these two numbers. The numbers are 1 and negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1.
So our first solution is 1 and our second solution is negative 2. Again, we have to check our solutions because we have an even index. The square root of 1 plus 3 minus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 3 is 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 equals 1 is true, which means our solution 1 fits in our original equation. Let's check the negative 2. The square root of negative 2 plus 3 minus 1 equals negative 2. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 does not equal to negative 2. So negative 2 is an extraneous solution. Let's look at another example. The square root of x plus 3 minus 4 equals x. Feel free to pause the video and try this on your own. Adding 4 on both sides isolates the square root. x plus 3 equals x plus 4. We get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. x plus 3 equals x squared plus 2 times 4 times x is 8x plus 4 squared is 16. And after subtracting x plus 3 from both sides, we get 0 equals x squared plus 7x plus 13. The only factors from 13 are 1 and 13. But 1 plus 13 does not equal negative 7. So factoring doesn't work here. Let's solve this with the quadratic formula, which is x equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. b is 7, so we get 7 plus minus 7 squared is 49 minus 4 times 13 is minus 52. 49 minus 52 is negative 3. And the square root of a negative number has no solution when dealing with real numbers. So there's no real solution for this radical equation. Let's look at the next example, which is the square root of 3x minus 2 minus x equals 0. Adding x on both sides gives us the square root of 3x minus 2 equals x. And squaring on both sides cancels out the square root and we get 3x minus 2 equals x squared. And moving 3x minus 2 to the right hand side gives us 0 
equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. Which two numbers multiplied gives us 2 and the same numbers added gives us positive 3. Feel free to pause the video and try to find the numbers. The numbers are 1 and 2. Because 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is plus 3. We have to check our solutions because we have an even root index. The square root of 3 times 1 minus 2 minus 1 equals 0. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 equals 0 is true, so the solution 1 fits in our original equation. Let's check the 2. The square root of 3 times 2 minus 2, minus 2, equals 0. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2, and 2 minus 2 equals 0. So 0 equals 0 is true, and our second solution is 2. So both 1 and 2 fits in our original equation. Let's look at the third root of 2x plus 1 equals negative 2. We get rid of the cube root by cubing both sides. Don't forget the parentheses on the right hand side. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us 2x equals negative 9. And dividing by 2 gives us then x equals negative 9 over 2. The solution for this problem is negative 9 over 2. We don't have to check our solution because the root has an odd index. Let's look at 2 times the third root of 4x plus 5 equals negative 2. Feel free to pause the video and try this example on your own. Dividing both sides by 2, isolates the cube root, and on the right hand side we get negative 1. Cubing both sides gives us 4x plus 5 equals negative 1. And after subtracting 5 from both sides, we get 4x equals negative 6. And after dividing by 4, we get x equals negative 3 over 2, which is our solution for this problem. Again, we don't need to check our solution 
because we have an odd root index. What about this example? The fourth root of 2x plus 3 equals 1. Raising to the power of 4 on both sides cancels out the fourth root. 2x plus 3 equals 1. Subtracting 3 from both sides gives us 2x equals negative 2. And dividing by 2 gives us finally x equals negative 1. 4 is an even number so we have to check our solution. The fourth root of 2 times negative 1 plus 3 equals 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 3 is 1. The fourth root of 1 is 1 and 1 equals 1 is true. So the solution negative 1 fits in our original equation. What about the fifth root of 4x plus 3 equals 1? Raising to the power of 5 on both sides cancels out the fifth root and we get 4x plus 3 equals 1. And after subtracting 3 from both sides we get 4x equals negative 2 and dividing by 4 gives us x equals negative 1 over 2. We don't need to check our solution because the index of the root is odd. Let's look at the square root of 3x squared minus 5 equals 6. Squaring on both sides cancels out the square root and we get 3x squared minus 5 equals 36. Adding 5 to both sides gives us 3x squared equals 41. And dividing by 3 on both sides gives us x squared equals 41 over 3. The square root and the square cancel each other out. And on the right hand side we get the plus minus square root of 41 over 3. So our first answer is the square root of 41 over 3 and the second answer is negative square root of 41 over 3. We have to check our solutions because we have an even index. The square root of 3 times the square root of 41 over 3 squared minus 5 equals 6. The square root and the square cancel each other out. 3 times 
41 over 3 is 41. 41 minus 5 is 36 and the square root of 36 is 6. So we get 6 equals 6, which is true. So the square root of 41 over 3 is a solution for this problem. Let's plug in the negative square root of 41 over 3. 3 times the negative square root of 41 over 3 squared minus 5 equals 6. When squaring a negative number, we get a positive number. So we get the same answer as plugging in the square root of 41 over 3. So the negative of the square root of 41 over 3 is also a solution for this problem. Let's look at some examples where we have two roots in the equation. The square root of x plus 2 minus the square root of 3x equals 0. Adding the square root of 3x on both sides gives us the square root of x plus 2 equals the square root of 3x. Squaring both sides cancels out the square roots and we get x plus 2 equals 3x. And after subtracting x from both sides we get 2 equals 2x and after dividing by 2 we get x equals 1. Because the root has an even index, we have to check our solution. So let's plug in the 1 in our original equation. 1 plus 2 minus the square root of 3 times 1 equals 0. One plus two is three, and three times one is also three. So the square root of three minus the square root of three is zero, and we get zero equals zero, which is true. So one is a solution for this problem. Let's look at the square root of x minus two plus the square root of x equals two. After subtracting the square root of x from both sides, we get the square root of x minus 2 equals 2 minus the square root of x. And after squaring both sides, the square root cancels out with the square Two squared is four, and the square root of x squared is x. And two times the square root of x times two is four times the square root of x. Now we have to isolate the other root. So subtracting four and subtracting x from both sides leads us to negative 6 equals negative 4 times the square root of x. And after dividing by negative 4, we get 
3 over 2 equals the square root of x. And squaring on both sides leads us to x equals 9 over 4. Let's plug in the 9 over 4 into the original equation because the index of the root is even. So we get the square root of 9 over 4 minus 2 plus the square root of 9 over 4 equals 2. We can write the 2 as 8 over 4, 9 over 4 minus 8 over 4 is 1 over 4 and the square root of 1 over 4 is 1 over 2. The square root of 9 over 4 is the square root of 9 which is 3 over the square root of 4 which is 2. 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is 4 over 2 and 4 over 2 is 2. So we get 2 equals 2, which is true. So the solution 9 over 4 fits in our original equation. What about this example? The square root of 2x plus 3 minus the square root of 3x plus 2 equals 0. Adding the square root of 3x plus 2 to both sides leads us to the square root of 2x plus 3 equals the square root of 3x plus 2. And after squaring both sides we get 2x plus 3 equals 3x plus 2. Let's move the 2x to the right hand side by subtracting by 2x and move the 2 to the left hand side by subtracting 2. one equals x. Let's check our solution because we have an even root index. The square root of 2 times 1 plus 3 minus the square root of 3 times 1 plus 2 equals 0. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is also 5. And the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5 is 0. So we get 0 equals 0 which is true which means that 1 fits in our original equation. Let's look at our last example. The square root of 2x plus 3 minus the square root of 4x plus 5 equals negative 2. Let's isolate the root by adding the square root of 4x plus 5 to both sides. And after squaring both sides, we get 
2x plus 3 equals the square root of 4x plus 5 squared is 4x plus 5. The square root of 2 is 4. And the term in the middle is 2 times 2 times the square root of 4x plus 5. Which is 4 times the square root of 4x plus 5. Let's add the 5 and the 4 first. 2x plus 3 equals 4x plus 9 minus 4 times the square root of 4x plus 5. And after subtracting 4x and 9 from both sides, we get negative 2x minus 6 equals negative 4 times the square root of 4x plus 5. We can isolate the root by dividing by negative 4. On the left hand side we get 1 over 2x plus 3 over 2 and on the right hand side we have the square root of 4x plus 5. Let's get rid of the square root by squaring. 1 over 2x squared is 1 over 4x squared. 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. And the term in the middle is 2 times 3 over 2 times 1 over 2x, which is 3 over 2x. Let's subtract 4x and 5 to get a 0 on the right hand side. We can write the 4 as 8 over 2 and we can write the 5 as 20 over 4. Three minus eight is negative five. And nine minus twenty is negative eleven. Let's get rid of the denominators by multiplying the whole equation by four. x squared minus 10x minus 11 equals 0. Let's see if we can factor this. Which two numbers multiplied are negative 11 and the same numbers added are plus 10. Feel free to pause the video and try to find the numbers by yourself. The numbers are negative 1 and 11. Because 11 times negative 1 is negative 11 and 11 plus minus 1 is 10. So our solutions are negative 1 and 11. We have to check our solutions because the index of the roots are even. 
So let's plug in the negative one first. Two times negative one plus three minus the square root of four times negative one plus five equals negative two. Two times negative one is negative two plus three is one. Four times negative one is negative four plus five is one. The square root of one minus the square root of one is zero, so we get zero is not equal to negative two. So minus one is an extraneous solution and doesn't fit in our original equation. Let's plug in the 11 in our original equation. The square root of 2 times 11 plus 3 minus the square root of 4 times 11 plus 5 equals negative 2. 2 times 11 is 22 plus 3 is 25 and the square root of 25 is 5. 4 times 11 is 44 plus 5 is 49 and the square root of 49 is 7. 5 minus 7 is negative 2 and negative 2 equals negative 2. So 11 is a solution for this problem and fits in our original equation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.